Hey everyone, RC Addict to make you loco here once again with another unboxing video. Today it's gonna be on the 2019 version of the Arma Creighton, or as I call it, Kraton. Now I have the 2015 version right here, and I've had it since 2015 when I unboxed it on this channel. And I absolutely love the vehicle. We always fight, me and my kids, we always fight over who's gonna get the remote and be able to drive this one because it has a big, a long travel suspension on it, nice and cushy, big tires on it, tons of power, obviously 6S power, uh, but it's also light and it's very simple to work on. So when you're bashing around with these, they kind of just soak up the bumps, and when you jump them, they just kind of go through the air, and they land real nice, uh, and they're, they're fun to jump and kind of bash around. Uh, whereas, like, I have the Vorza, which is an older model, uh, but that one is also, it's super fast and tough, but it's heavy. So it just kind of lumbers through the air and kind of goes over bumps instead of jumping. So uh, we love this model, and that's why we went ahead and purchased the 2019 version right here with a few upgrades in it. So this one, of course, they changed the tires uh, on them, so they're more aggressive. These remind me of, I think, the, uh, the Proline Badlands, what they remind me of with the big nubs on here. Of course, they have a blue body and a red body. You can see it right here. Of course, this one is the blue and black body on here. So uh, there's a couple basic upgrades on here. You know, it's basically the same model. Um, you know, they have sealed ball ends on here. They have a nice cross brace in here because it's just a flat piece of aluminum on there for the chassis. Uh, and that's about it. It's pretty thick, uh, but now they figured out they need to put a full cross brace from the front to the rear bulkhead on there, on the shock towers. Of course, it has the BLX system, which is that really powerful 6S system on there uh, for power. Now, the original ones in, in 2015, back when this model came out in the earlier days, uh, they had a lot of problems with the speed controller and sometimes with the motor on them. So sure enough, this one, when I first bought it, it had a lot of stuttering issues with the motor uh, to the point where it just quit on me. But Arma was really good about it. I said, I just got it. I mean, it was like the first run, basically. And they say sent out a couple extra motors and speed controllers for me uh, to have on there. Uh, but by that time, I already changed over to the Castle Creations Mama Monster because I was just stuck on that brand back in the day. Um, so I still had those extra speed controllers and stuff like that, but they were really good about that with warranty service. So there's a couple other small upgrades on here, but it's basically the same model, which is great because this thing is really easy to work on and it's reliable. Ever since I put that Mama Monster system in there, I haven't had to replace anything on here as of yet. So let's go ahead and open it up and we'll do a close up of it and then we'll compare it to the 2015 model down there. Uh, just side by side so you guys can see the differences on there. Now these ones should come fully uh, assembled, just like any RC car nowadays. They're all RTRs. And this thing looks sweet. Look at that thing when you open it up on there. So, oh man, this thing is... Any new RC car it is very cool to, to get and open up. So go ahead and open this up just like this. Just a filler box. Pull these off for the tires. Also, just filler boxes. That cardboard. And there she is. Look at that thing. I mean, it's all just ready to go. Pop some batteries in your transmitter, pop a battery in there, and you're ready to go drive. So, we'll get some close ups of this on here. And we'll go over a couple of things. Now, the one thing to note on here is that the original one, I believe, had Dean's connectors on there. Uh, whereas these, these uh, 2019 models have what they call IC5 connectors, which are the latest and greatest uh, high current connectors for all the amperes these things pull. The first thing I'm going to tell you right now is if you're getting a battery for this thing, it's still an eight scale vehicle. You want to make sure you have a 35C or higher uh rate battery on there so it can handle the amperage draw without overtaxing the battery. So make sure you get a really good 4 or 6S battery for this. Uh, so yeah, here's the controller. It looks very, very, very light. And of course, the regular Spectrum radio. It's 
It's pretty standard. And uh, the old one had the same thing, the same style spectrum radio, and I'm still using it today. And we, like I said, we used the heck out of it, and it's still reliable and has no issues. So I hope the same thing applies to this one. But it does look very, very chintzy and cheap compared to the, the Traxxas models with their uh, TQI uh, controllers. So what we'll do now is we'll just bring you over closer so we can pop the hood on here and check it out. All right, so let's take a quick look at what comes in the bag. Basic tool set. You have your, your lug nut wrench here and, of course, some Allens inside of there. Optional gearing right here for hard, smooth, packed surfaces. A binding plug and then some, I guess, uh, extra pieces for the mounts and stuff like that. they like different mounts for the different bodies on there. Uh, but yeah, there's a, a big warning in here, 35C minimum. And what's really nice, unlike other manufacturers, they give you the actual specs of what will fit in there. I mean, the actual dimensions. And that tells you real quick about the uh, optional gearing there. Something about a warranty card right here. And then as usual, their manuals are really, really well done. Uh, sure enough, you know, they're just really clear and easy to look through on here and at the end uh, for the different models because these are all pretty close typhoon and and outcast and all that stuff they give you nice uh exploded diagrams in there too so that's look at that it's all built right into the manual it's great for reference so keep that to the side here's a better look at the uh controller it's very very light of course there's no batteries in there right now but it feels good just like the other one did and then of course your basic your, your throttle rate, steering rate, and then of course your trims. And then right here on the control panel gives you the options to uh, uh, reverse them. This is a cool new feature right here, throttle limiter. That'd be great for my kids at 50%, 75, 100. As long as they don't know what it is, they won't touch it, right? That's great, especially if you're just learning how to handle all the power of this thing. All right, so let's take a look at the model and that's what we came here to look at. Of course, you can see the tires, they're about as big as the other ones on the older model, but look at the trend, that's really, really aggressive. And of course, they're nice and soft on here. Standard 17 millimeter hobs, it looks like on there. I mean, of course, the DB boots or whatever they use on there, the standard uh, brand they use. So the wing looks very similar on there. Of course, everything's nice and new. Now the body is absolutely awesome on here. I mean, it just looks beautiful in the front end of it here. I mean, look at that. Kind of reminds me of the Raptor, to tell you the truth. I mean, you know, you guys know I'm a Ford guy, so. What's nice about this, and we'll see how long they last, is that these pins for the body, uh, it's not a pinless system, but it does have retainers for them. So we'll see how long these things last. That'd be a great feature if we can keep them uh, attached like that. I don't know, we're gonna, these are rubberized, so unless you're pulling the pins out by the pins themselves, you're gonna ruin the rubber retainers really fast. So, all right, let's take a look inside. All right, so let's take a look at it from the front to back. Uh, so the suspension on here looks very, very similar to the uh, other model on there. You can see a bumper is very underwhelming on there. It's tough, but it's small. Uh, so of course you might go over to T-Bone Racing and get the big wide ones like you see on the other one there. Now these, these shocks, they look very similar to the other models. Also a differential in the bulkhead here. Uh, the shock tower looks extra, extra thick. I like the nice protective caps on top of the shock towers here. Very, very cool. Uh, you know, you, if you're gonna hit something, you're probably gonna hit it from the front. So you want all the protection you can up front here. Of course, it has sway bars on here. Very nice for going through the turns on there. It has a nice cushy suspension. This one seems to have a, a, a much better weight oil uh, inside the shocks on here. They're, it's much better than the original. This one feels absolutely awesome. The other really, really cool feature on here is these guards right here. You can see on both sides, there's these huge guards in case you're going through mud and rocks and everything else. It's not pelting all the electronics inside of here. That's an awesome, awesome feature on there, just like these little mud guards. Um, the Let's see what else we have here. So just about everything else is pretty standard on here. Of course, some changes. has the options for dual batteries on here or a single pass-through right there. Um, and then here's your standard compartment. 
for strapping it in. So the strap goes this way. And then of course you have the extra length here and you have the strap going this way on it. That's really cool. So here's that long brace going all the way down on here. I guess a lot of people had issues with these not being strong enough. It's a good idea from Arma, uh, but there's a lot of aftermarket options out there for this center brace on here. But it's nice to see because like I said, it's just a, a thin plate on here for the chassis. Uh, so it has a tendency to flex and fold into the center on there. So the back end, again, it, it's very open back here. See how open it is? It's just very easy to work on everything and make sure everything's fine. And everything back here, the suspension is very open on there. Um, I haven't found a need for any kind of guards back here uh, to keep rocks and all that. It's just too open back. Everything kind of just flies through here, it seems. Um, so these should be good to go with these ones the way they are, but at least we have the front guards on here. What's nice about these shocks on here, because they know you're gonna be mudding and all that stuff and go through snow, is they have the boots for the shafts on here. That's awesome. Uh, it really protects the vehicle. These things have a two year freaking warranty on them, so they're, they're pretty awesome. They're pretty reliable. So here is the, uh, of course, the speed controller right here. I love the switch location. Hopefully nothing is hitting it. Uh, see how that is going through the mud and rocks and all that stuff and hitting it and turning it on and off on there. Uh, we'll see how it is, but it's great. To get, if your body's on here, you kind of get your finger up in here and kind of switch it on and off. And then, of course, nice wire routing for the motor here, the size of this motor. But look at, more importantly, this is why I like these. And look how easy it is to get around this thing. I mean, there's tons of room around to work. There's no big bulkheads and everything else in the way. Here's your center diff and the mount for it right there. You can kind of see it in there. Kind of see it through there and you'll see the gearing coming through the bottom right here okay and uh yeah that's just about it on there the uh the servo on here it is an all metal high speed servo uh we're going to test that out and see how well it works i think the original one the original 15 Kraton, uh was you know pretty standard but i think it failed after a while and i had to replace that sucker right there uh, so we have nice fast steering on there, but otherwise it was fine. I think the electronics fried over the gears did. And then of course over here is your receiver box, standard receiver box. And if I didn't mention it already, this thing is waterproof. It's made to go through all the muck and the water and the snow. So this thing's just ready to go down the road. Unfortunately, uh, what I did is I read some literature on this thing and they said, you need the XT90 connectors for it when actually it's the IC5 or EC5 connectors, which they're both super high current connectors on there. Um, but I don't think they're compatible at all. They look very, very similar on there. You can see, uh, but they're not the right size. So yeah. But they're close, so I have to make sure I go ahead and buy a connector for that and fix that up. But yeah, overall, I mean, this thing, it, it looks absolutely awesome. A few minor upgrades to it compared to the 15 model. And let's, let's, let's take a look at the 15 model real quick uh, while I have you here. Since you just saw the other one, you can kind of look at this one and see, you know, everything's kind of open up front here. So it's nice to see the guards on the other one. Uh, but the rest of it here seems pretty darn similar. Of course, all this right here is uh, from T-Bone Racing. But same thing, it's battery over here, center diff. Everything's kind of laid out the same way where it's nice and open on there. It just has the uh, castle creations on there. Again, all metal gearing. But I've never had any kind of uh, differential issues on these or anything. And you can see again, it's all open back here but never any issues with rocks getting jammed up back there, anything like that. So, yeah. This one's good to go, too. I'm just really excited to see the, the try the new one out, especially with the more aggressive tires on there. All right, that's all for now. And in future videos, we're going to have uh, some comparisons going on the road with these, how they feel, and then, of course, we'll do some drag racing with these and see how they compare also. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.